guys welcome back to my channel i hope you've all had a really good christmas i'm angela if you didn't know that already today i thought i'd do a video on molly may's tan this one i've got is in the shade extra dark and this isn't going to be a first impressions video because i have already tried this before and i can say i really like it i'm not sure if it's my favorite but i think it's definitely in my top two also i really hope my lighting is all right i've been stressing about it for the last hour because my light doesn't want to adjust i know when i come to edit it will just annoy me rotten but mm. anyways getting on with the video so i've got the shade in extra dark like i've probably already said this one costs 22 pounds regularly regularly <laughs> each shade costs a different price so the lighter you go the cheaper it is i got this in the sale over christmas for roughly about 17 18 pounds so i hopped on that real quick because this shit is never on sale anyways i'm gonna strip off now and show you the color bloody blah, blah blah see you in a bit okay so right off the bat i can tell you that this doesn't smell like a regular fake tan this smells really strongly of floral stuff and i can also tell you that this doesn't give you that you know biscuit effect tan smell when you have it on i find that it smells quite floral all the way through which i really like okay so i've tried this one time before and this is the color that it comes out which for a dark tan that's pretty that's a pretty good colour from the foam alone. Foam alone. <laughs> there we go. So this is what it looks like after one sort of application. I don't think this tan develops. So basically what you get on your skin is the colour that it's going to end up at. Can you hear that? That's my dog. Right, hair up, straps down. Let me see if I can actually put you out a little bit. Hopefully my boobs don't come out. I'll just do a bit on my chest so you can see what that looks like. And I'm also going to do my face for this video because my dermatitis is pretty good. So it's not going to cling on too bad. But if it does, then you'll be able to see that in this video. Yep, still smelling floral. Give myself a little bit. For my face, I usually use like a kabuki brush because I just find that gives the best result if i'm using a foam instead of one of my u-tan mists oh and another thing i want to mention is that like fake tan normally doesn't really cling to my chest for some reason to end up with like a fairly whitish chest even when i've just applied tan but definitely when i'll come to wash it off but as you can see this one is clinging gray and it's a pretty uniform color all around my body and that right i'm gonna fix my face because it's just annoying me now right i'm just gonna put a squirt on at the moment and i'm gonna work quite quickly to spread it over my face otherwise you end up with like a patch i'll do my ears as well and I'm gonna go into my hairline because I think people forget that like your scalp is white and you don't want that. It'll be interesting to see if it um, affects my blonde bit at the front because when I first tried it out, that wasn't a there. This tan really does smell so nice. Right, so that's my face done. As you can see, it is actually very even. It's not really clung to any of my dry patches. As you can see, this is where my dermatitis is. And it doesn't look too bad whatsoever. Um, my chin, for some reason, is dry now. So, I mean, I guess that's like mm, half a shade darker if you want to be picky. But nothing major. Also, another thing I'd um, noticed the last time I tried this tan was that you see when you turn around your hand and your palm and that it doesn't leave like a a really ugly like dark line which i was really impressed about because usually that's something you've got to be a little bit careful about i mean i'll see in this video if it does that again so i'm literally just gonna wipe the back of my well the palm of my hand with the clean side i'm just gonna sort of wipe that so if anything's got on it it's not going to be horrifically dark well i hope not you know what for the purpose of this video i might actually 
follow the instructions and do half of my body again just to see if it makes a difference or not. God, I really love this colour so much. Like, it is literally so good. I would say, if you use Bondi Sands, this isn't the same shade at all. This is more of a orange shade, a golden shade. I personally like that, though, because when I tan, I do naturally go an orange shade rather than, like, a, a green olive or something. So, this is definitely more golden and i know you can get tans that are more on the red side but this is definitely orange if you've got the kind of skin tone that's like really fair you know orange isn't quite the look you're going for god i'm making this sound so bad but this is a really good tan and i love the color of it but if you tend to like a more greeny undertone don't go for this tan this is what my palms look like at the moment Okay, see you in an hour. Okay, I'm back. I'm ready for my second coat, so let's just get on with it. Don't know if I look any darker, but we're about to get darker. Right, that's the difference between the two layers. To be honest, not much of a colour difference, so I don't really know why it's recommended to do it an hour later, because if you were going to build up a tan, I'd personally do it after I've washed off the first layer, but I'll do another check-in in about 10, just before I go to bed, let's say, and we'll see if there's any developments in the colour or not. So I'll see you then. Okay, so it's now the next morning. Please excuse how rough I look, but just ignore that. There's not much of a colour difference, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I look slightly darker, but I haven't yet washed it off, so that'll be the real test. One thing I would like to say is that this tan absolutely doesn't leave your bed sheets looking orange. I've got white bed sheets, as you can see. My pillow is still completely white. My bed sheets are still completely white. Everything is still white. I know with some tans you can get that horrible orange, you know, obvious massive patches where you've clearly slept in, but this is definitely not one of those tans. I feel like there's not much of a smell now with this tan. Like, I'm not smelling anything biscuity. So if that's something you're bothered about, this tan doesn't do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into the shower now, wash it off and I'll come back and show you the result. Okay, so I'm out of the shower now. It was a good half an hour shower with pretty hot water and this is the color that I've turned out. I wanted to quickly mention actually that I think it's quite important to a lot of people that tan their faces in particular with foam. I've noticed that there's not a lot of like pitting going on with the tan. Like you know with some tans they leave like little black dots in your pores. Well this hasn't done that and I tend to get it like on my chest as well. That's for me a really good positive so i can imagine what it'd be like on your legs i've tried it on my legs the first time around and it didn't leave any like pitting in that either also as for my blonde bit it hasn't stained my money pieces whatsoever so that's really good i also want to make a note that my knuckles aren't really dark and i don't moisturize any of my dry bits like my knees elbows and that and look they're not very dark whatsoever. In fact, they don't cling on at all. I have seen in some other reviews that there's some controversy with um, it coming off weird, but I haven't found that whatsoever. Even when I first tried it out, I found it lasted really well. It lasted a good solid week. That was with me moisturising. I don't know if how much of an effect that actually had, but I mean... It lasted a week and it was pretty decent. It didn't patch off or fade away, go that little tiger bready situation. Didn't do that whatsoever. And yeah, it's a pretty good natural colour. I do want to take it up a notch and do a second coat and I will include my face in that as well, I think, just to see how far we can go. And I'm just going to fast forward the application. You will see me next when I wash off the second layer. Let's see how much darker we can get with this tan.
so I'm here for my final check-in. This is how my tan's looking after two coats and it's been washed off. As you can see, it's such a gorgeous colour. This tan, I just think it's absolutely incredible. This is definitely a hit for me. I would recommend it to anyone. Honestly, there's not any con to this tan other than like the price. It's a bit steep. It's a bit higher than the tan you'd see in Superdrug or something, but I mean, look at this tan. It's worth the price in my opinion. I would definitely buy more. So that's the end of the video. If you like this review, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment and please subscribe. That would mean the absolute world to me. If you've got any video suggestions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and do them. I'll see you in 2021 and hopefully it's a good year for us all. Bye for now.